Well, a social media post from a Memphis Shelby County Schools educator is going viral tonight. She's reacting to the district's decision to move central office employees back in the classroom, which many of them had to take a pay cut in order to make room in the district's budget. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Pepper Baker. And I'm Rudy Williams. Now, in that social media post, an educator lays out the hardships she claims she and other reassigned employees are facing and how she says MSCS isn't living up to their promises. Our Desmond Nugent is live at MSES headquarters this evening. And Desmond, why is this educator speaking out now? Rudy Pepper, Rainisha Chapman tells me she and other educators are barely able to keep the bills paid. She tells me she took a nearly $20,000 pay cut after being reassigned from an educational support professional to educational assistant this month. There are good professionals that are walking away because we can't afford this life. And this life comes with a lot. That's why Rainisha Chapman says she made this post on social media, speaking out against a restructuring plan that impacted her and hundreds of other MSCS employees in new jobs with lingering questions before the school year. We're still waiting in the hams to know when we're starting, what we're looking for, and you know what will be handled by students. And we don't have enough teachers. The district in April announced $28.4 million of additional money will be invested towards teacher salaries. But Chapman claims that money doesn't apply to her previous position, educational support professional, which the MSCS school board cut last month in their budget. I didn't receive the, the funds that were allotted. I was demoted and reassigned without any question of my knowledge. Chapman says she'll now be working at White Station Elementary for $20,000 less than what she made in her previous position. She says what upsets her the most, the district hosting job fairs out of state when they have qualified teachers in the area. Only to bring them into our city, but give them a place to stay and give them a stipend and open up the doors. And, and that's just, that's a slap in my face, not only my face, but so many others. Chapman says as a single mother, she'll struggle to live off her salary of less than $30,000. While Chapman says she does have other job offers, she also loves being an educator. We have a high rate of literacy. We have a high rate of homelessness. We have a high rate of gun violence. We have a high rate of truancy. And all of those programs were cut 